Welcome guys, and in today's video, we're gonna be talking more about color packing. I'm gonna be using a mag in my own leg to show you guys a little bit more about how to pack color and how not to pack color. So if you guys are ready for that, then let's go. All right guys, so we're going to be tattooing my leg and I'm gonna use an old cross with some blue in it that I did a long time ago. So to explain this color packing. So let's take a look at that. This is my crazy leg as you may have seen before if you follow the channel. Um, this is where I do a lot of my practicing and on my other leg as well. Now I am running out of real estate here to uh, practice and show you guys stuff on, but I do have this old cross up here that I did a long time ago. And then later I went back and I thought, okay, I'm gonna, now that I think I know what I'm doing, I'm gonna put some blue in here. Well, let me show you how I did that. Pretty much took the machine, had it running, and I thought you just, you just put color in, you know, you just scri scribble it in there. So I was doing this number, you know, kind of like, okay, putting the color in. And I was told that, the color packer would pack color. I just thought that the machine packed the color. I just, you know, I don't know. It just didn't know what I was doing. So that's why it has this light blue in there. You can't even see, um, it's not fully saturated. You have the skin showing through. So now I have the machine running. Let me show you what my needles look like. Now this is just a starting point, okay? That's just a starting point. I might go in, I might come out. Not 100% sure yet, but again, this is where I'm gonna start at for this point. So, I'm gonna dip into some blue. And now remember, this process is a slow process. When I was trying to figure it out a while back, again, I was moving way fast. I was just, just putting it in there, but it wasn't really sticking, if you will. It wasn't really staying the way I wanted it. Because you have to have some patience, you have to take your time and I'll show you that. So, dipping into some of this blue over here. I take a little bit of, you can use A&D, Vaseline. Uh, this is Inkies. Uh, thank you, John, for, for pointing me in that direction. I really do like this stuff. Nonetheless, here we go. I lay down a little bit of A&D or Vaseline or whatever your product of choice is. Rub it in. Grab myself a dry paper towel. You can use a wet paper towel since there's no stencil here, a damp one, uh, but I will show you both. We'll start with a dry paper towel and then we'll move from there. So machine running, blue ink is in. I'm gonna start over here. Oh God, that feels horrible. Nice and slow, okay? I'm little circles. Or like a little up and down movement and we wipe see that's packed in there solid that color is not gonna fall out and you see the difference guys this was doing this number here where I was putting in the blue I was putting in the blue you know, and it's like, what the heck is going on here? Why, is, why isn't why is it going in there, you know? So you go over it again. Ah, uh, doing the same thing. Ba -da 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 -da. Like, man, I'm really putting it in there. I'm really going over it. That's twice I've gone over it, right? Oh, geez, it's still not quite in there, right? Because that's the key, is you have to slow down, take your time. It's going to hurt, uh, but tattoos, they, they hurt, you know? Um, I know in the beginning I really didn't want my tattoos to hurt. I didn't want to put the person in pain. But there are times when to do it right, you know, it's not like it has to be excruciating, but it, it's going to be uncomfortable. So, as you can see, that's packed, that's not packed, and we'll keep moving. Let me see if I can get at another angle here. You guys can see a little bit of the, the needles. Now I am slightly riding the tube. I'm not pushing it down to where I feel the tube. Um, on my skin, you know, I'm not I'm not forcing it really hard, but I am pretty much letting those needles uh, glide across um, Using the tube as like a reference. So let me show you here. We go again over top of that area Nice and slow and you don't have to worry too much if you get a little bit on your black Because it is black worst comes to worst you can always go back over that with some more black if you see a little bit of that blue in your black. 
So again, there we go. You see a huge difference, right? Packed, not packed. That's kind of just put in there. So I'm going to keep it going here. Nice and slow. You just want those needles to go up a little bit and back, up a little bit and back, up a little bit and back. Push a little forward, roll it back. Catch what you miss. Push a little forward, roll it back. And that's why I do this little circular motion. You can do this kind of a thing too. Okay? The angle of your machine, I believe, very really matters when packing black, packing color, packing anything. So I try to keep a bit of an angle. It allows the ink to go in a bit better, a uh, little less trauma, and I get a better saturation. So try to keep your machine, you know, at a bit of an angle when you can. Can't happen everywhere, but when you can, go ahead and do that. Now again, you can add a little bit of uh, A&D, Vaseline, whatever, on there. It kind of helps keep the ink from just spooling everywhere. And here we go again. Now it is bleeding guys. I packed this color in there. Packed it in there. And you'll know. You'll know if you went too fast. And you'll know when like okay I can probably go a little faster than that. Like here I might be going too fast right. So guys this is it. This is the process right. We're just going to. Start from another spot, run it down, run it down. You can also run it the opposite way too. If you're not getting a really good pack that way, you know, you can pack it back the other way. All right, guys, I'm running at 8.1 volts while I've been doing this, okay? 8.1 volts. Now, you can slow your machine down or speed it up. A lot of times, I really just keep it at 8.1 volts for almost everything. Um, there are times when the skin is giving you hell, meaning like it's really bouncy in key areas you might need to crank your voltage up a little bit. I'm not saying 8.1 volts is for everybody. That seems to be a good all around for me. Now, if we slow this down to, let's go down to 6.9 volts and see what happens now. A lot of times you might just have to move your hand a little bit slower. So I've slowed the machine down to 6.9 volts and it works to pack just as well. So you want to find what works for you. I still like 8.1 volts for packing color because my hand, I'd like to be able to move it just a little bit quicker, but there's nothing wrong with seven volts, you know, six and a half, whatever. You just got to get comfortable with that voltage. Now I want to show you, this is using a dry towel, right? And dealing with color, it gets messy quick. Luckily, there's no stencil here, so we don't have to worry about losing it. But if there was, you definitely would not want to be using a wet paper towel to wipe it away. Certainly not anything with green soap on it. That will certainly wipe it away even faster. So what I like to do when working with, you know, a lot of black or color or anything like that, is once I find an opportunity or a time when um, my, I don't need that section of my stencil anymore, I have that covered, I'll wet a paper towel, just get it damp, and I'll show you that real quick. So I take a paper towel, I fold it in half like this. I take a little bit of water. Now this is just distilled water. And I spray it, about that much. I then fold it in half again, and let that uh, water kind of seep through a little bit onto the paper towel. And this is going to make wiping a lot, a lot easier. It's going to get more off, not quite as much as green soap, but it's not going to hurt your skin as much. Like it's not going to burn as much as green soap. So you keep, you wipe it away with the water. I'll show you this.
And again, with that damp paper towel, it picks up all of it for the most part and it keeps it from smearing everywhere. But again, you can only do that when you can. When, um, when you're not at risk of losing your stencil or things like that. Now there's some light spots within here and you're gonna want to work those light spots. Go back in little spots here or there. You can move a bit quicker when doing stuff like that. But for the most part, this is one pass, right? We make one pass, one you know, not not killing the person pass, but one decent, solid, nice, slow, steady pace pass, and you're gonna pack 90% of the color that that area needs. And you can do this at various voltages, different needle depths. You gotta mess around with it a little bit, find what's comfortable, but this color is not gonna fall out. I promise you that, it's not gonna fall out. Will it fade? All color fades. All, everything will fade, okay? or at least the skin will grow over it and create this illusion that it's faded. But nonetheless, that is how I color pack. You can do this with blue, black, whatever. Um, and you just wanna make sure once you have most of it in there or a section done, that you really give it a good look over, find those little faint spots and, and work those. And that's why I say you're about 90% done with that single pass because once you get all their passes in, you're gonna find those little light spots, go back in them, hit them gently or semi-gently, get them filled without causing too much trauma to the area that's already been hit, and uh, and your, your color is gonna be in there and your color is going to stay. Well, I just wanna say thank you for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I just wanted to take a few minutes and really just show you guys how to pack color. Um, and a lot of times it really comes down to just being patient, um, taking your time, knowing what to look for. And um, so I hope I, I explained a little bit more of that today so if you guys enjoyed the video please give it a like subscribe if you haven't already if you want to support the channel you can check out the merch links in the description you don't have to it's just there if you want to but don't forget to ring the bell if you want to get notifications when i post when i go live all that fun happy horse stuff but until next time guys peace